hear me? You're extremely quiet. I, I, What's I up, buddy, hear. my dude? You're good now. All right, who wants right, to step, step up next? Okay, so I I just have a few quick questions, if that's okay. That's fine, man. All right, cool. Um, so do you think on your view that it's okay to kill a human? Um, to kill a human? Mm, uh huh. Not necessarily. It's it's a it's neutral, a neutral act. act. To to Murder farm to farm exactly. yeah to to farm like in set up an agricultural industry where we would farm humans and we would end up slaughtering them and eating their meat. No, it, I I don't I didn't know what you meant by kill, but that would be bad. That's okay. Kind of exploitation. Okay. okay, yeah. And uh, would what would you say about if we were to do that with humans? I mean, with uh, animals, with cows, for example. I'd be. I'm sorry, you cut out. Can, is he cutting out, or can people? Am I cutting out? Can people hear me? He cut out. Is he actually there? He's in chat, but he isn't responding. Um, hello, Morgan? The fuck? Imagine if this were an elaborate tactic to buy time. <laughs> if we didn't even start. We barely started. <laughs> you got like two words in. <laughs> you, you spooked him. Hello. Ah, there we are. I'm back. All right. So, would you say it's okay to have an industrial agricultural system in which we... You said no for humans. Would you say it's okay to do that for cows? What, okay, do you mean, like, would I treat it as a morally neutral act? Then, Okay, so what's the difference between the human context and the animal context by which you would result in making that difference between morally um, neutral and morally... Because it is morally bad to kill people who are conscious. Morally bad to kill things that are conscious, not people. Okay, and I take it you think cows are not conscious? Yes. Okay, and what reason do you have for thinking cows are not conscious, but humans are? Humans have the human essence. Uh, cows do not have human essence. Okay, and what do you mean by human essence? Are you familiar with uh, essentialism and like platonic philosophy? No, I just want you know, can you explain to me what you mean by human essence? Sure, so my specific worldview is Orthodox Christian. So I, uh, it sort of believes in essentialism in a sense that uh, things have uh, forms, uh, like metaphysical forms, which attach themselves to the things that they represent, uh, like the humans. They'd have a human essence, they were, uh, and this essence was imbued by God. Um, which uh, is a necessary cause for experience, uh, the consciousness synonym. So that's what I mean by uh, I, I, I human don't essence. Understand. So you, when you say human essence, you just mean that there's a certain form that a human represents, which is the human form? Yeah. Okay, and by form... So there's a, and by form, do you just mean that it's shape or it's, it's, it represents like a metaphysical reality, I guess. 
That's the what do you mean when you say meta? Wait, wait. When you say metaphysical reality as opposed to physical reality, what do you mean? Meaning it's an immaterial thing that is real. So metaphysical means immaterial, but real. Metaphysical refers to a lot of things, but it's a what does it refer to? Immaterial. So something metaphysical that is not means... tangible, but is real. Okay, so that so so human essence is a non tangible by by human essence you mean there is a non tangible but real thing in a in a human. Am I am I missing anything? A, a little bit, but yeah, all right. What else is there? No, I want to get the whole thing. What, okay, what else is so. There? so there's... So this essence's derivation would be from God, and in, the, the, in that way, it's spiritual, or uh, I guess. When just, by spiritual, you just mean not not physical. Yeah. So yes, well, you already said not not physical, but real. So that's just redundant in that point. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, it's you've already accounted. Uh, you've already that. defined metaphysical. Yeah, you've already you've already defined metaphysical as not not physical but real well i mean uh, i, I need material, to, do that to distinguish real. that from a platonic definition of essence to a orthodox christian one meaning that it's a, a personal world as opposed to an impersonal okay so and by personal what do you mean i mean connected to the mind of god okay so you're so by human essence getting back to human essence you mean there's a connection to the mind of God that is immaterial and real that humans have. And yeah. Yeah. that represents a form that, and that form is, imma is immature. Okay. And cows, and, and, how, and what's your criteria for determining that um, humans have the human essence and cows do not have the human essence? On uh, the specific Orthodox Christian sort of uh, paradigm, I guess that's uh, that's where uh, that 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 premise is nested in. So the Orthodox Christian paradigm. What do you mean when it, wait? And when you say Orthodox Christian paradigm, can you just elaborate a little bit about that? Sure. So there are many different types of Christianity. One of which is the Orthodox. Uh, uh, it's the it's the other side of the church of Catholicism. Um, and uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted here. Um, so my definition of... Uh, wait, what was the question again? Sorry, I got distracted. Well, I asked you what the criteria is for... I asked you what the criteria for um, determining if a big creature has the human essence or not uh, what is the what's uh, your criteria Christian when you're paradigm. met when you're met with a creature yeah so wait so let's say let's just say you meet a creature and you don't know anything about the creature right so there are certain criteria that you could say that there will be a human essence or not a human essence in a given creature I just want to know what is it about the creatures that you're using to determine if this creature has the human essence? I would say their their presentation, whether or not they're an arms and legs and they look like a human. Okay, so your criteria for determining the human essence is is their appearance. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, is that yeah. correct? Okay, so if we were met with a human that did not look like a human, would you say they have the human spirit? Oh, uh, that's impossible. So it's impossible for a human to not look like a human? Yeah. Okay. Can you t can and when you say po impossible, do you mean physically possible or logically impossible? Logically impossible because okay, a, a, okay. a necessary you, cause you, of human essence. Okay, can you derive? Okay, can you derive? Can you derive? Okay, so if you're saying it's logically impossible, 
can you show me that the two I have two propositions? What? Um, in order to have something stop or define as human essence, it requires a human body. If X does not have a human body, it is not a human essence. That's a valid argument, right? Why you gotta appeal to? What? Why you gotta appeal to pagan Wait, philosophies? Can you... Oh, you can't hear me. Can you guys hear me now? It's not pagan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So there's it's two propositions. Hello. There's two propositions. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. So proposition number one, being A, appears like a human. Being B, being A, proposition two is being. Sorry, being A does not appear like a human. Proposition two is being A is a human. So I would like you to derive the contradiction between proposition one and proposition two. Uh, I wasn't listening. Okay, so, okay, so I don't have you said, you said you said you said there was a contradiction. Who's whose mic is like echoing? You said there was a contradiction between a being. You said it was logically impossible for a being to be human and not look like a human. So I have two propositions. Proposition one is being X looks like a human. It does not look like a human, sorry. Being X does not look like a human. And proposition two, being X is a human. So I would like you to derive the contradiction from those two propositions. Okay, a necessary cause of uh, human essence would be something looking like a human. No, I didn't, that's, that's, that's trying to... Um, a necessary... Wait, wait. So premise one... Look, premise one is being X looks like... You're, looks like a human. Look, does not look like a human. Premise two is being X is a human. How do these two things contradict to each other? How does it result in P and not P is the question. It's, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to say like in order to be, in order, to, in order for you to be a human, you have to be a human. It's, that's the, that, it's, it's impossible it's, for something to look like a human and yet be a human. Like, like, no, okay, so, I don't, I don't so now you're just repeating. Down, so, just, so you're repeating. So you're repeating yourself, right? So you're just say, you're just saying it's impossible again. So I'm asked. Okay, so when you say it's impossible, are you saying it's physically impossible or logically impossible? You said logically it's logically impossible. Logically impossible. And by logically impossible, you mean it? There's a contradiction. What do you mean by logically impossible? I mean. I'm just going to repeat exactly what I said. I don't understand. Do well, when someone says lo something is logically impossible, contradict. when someone says something is logically impossible, it implies that there's a contradiction. There, to, we take that to mean that there is an affirmation and a rejection of a proposition at the same time. So, for example, a square circle. By, def by definition of what it means to be a square and what it means to be a circle, it's not logical to be a square circle, for there to be a square circle. Or, for, or the easiest case is P and not P. That is something that's impossible because it, you can easily derive a contradiction. P and not P. So I just want to see how what I said results in P and not P. Because the conclusion of those two premises would be X being, X being that does not look like wait, a human. Wait, wait, there's no, there's no, wait, the con what conclusion? I, the conclusion that flows from those two premises. two premises. What? No, there are two propositions. It's not, a, proposition not, not an argument. Proposition. Do you understand the difference between a proposition and a premise? Yes. What's the difference between a proposition and a premise? A premise is utilized for an argument. A proposition a is proposition. just a statement. Okay. So was I using, so was I giving you premises or was I giving you propositions? Propositions. But okay, the, so the what's the conclusion? Wait, so wait, what's follow, the, what's the, what oh, all right, what's the conclusion? The conclusion would be that being X, that, 
that does not look like look a human. Like, no, there is no idiot. conclusion. It's not an argument. It's just two propositions. There's no, there's no argument. It's two propositions that are not used, being used as premises. There's no conclusion. All I want to show, all I want you to do is say, here's the two propositions. Here's how they result in one proposition A reduces to P, proposition B reduces to not P. That's what you, I want you to do. What, what would I have to do in order to get, get around, around yeah. this? So you could, what you could do is you can show that prop, the first proposition I brought to the table is, reduces to P, and the second proposition I brought to the table reduces to not P. Oh, the, uh, the second proposition would be not P, because X cannot be a human. Wait, the second proposition of not P is because X cannot be a human. That's just reasserting. That's not, that's not, not what that's I mean. You're just, what do you, okay. Look, again, proposition one is X is, X does not appear to be a human. X does not look like a human. Proposition two, X is a human. How is proposition one P and proposition two not P? Uh, I don't think it is. Okay, then there's no contradiction. Sure. Great, so then it's logically possible. No, it's not logically possible. possible. Okay, well, what do you... Well, then you when you say logically possible, what is it that you mean? I, I don't know how to configure this in order to show one of these as P and not P. Like, I can't, I can't work it out. Well, right then you don't know how to show that there's a contradiction. I can explain it very, very clearly, clearly without well, no, that's syllogized language. language. No, you're, no, no. When, when you say, when you make a claim that something's logically impossible, you really, you, you're, I don't know how you're going to do that without showing a contradiction. You need to show because that the proposition to be a human essence, not be. It, needs to, it needs to look like a human. It doesn't look it like doesn't a human. Okay, now you're just so now you're just now you're just wait wait now you're just re now you're just asserting a claim. That's not showing. How if you want to say that something is is contingently the case, or something is physically possible or not impossible, or if you want to just assert that there is there's a certain fact of the matter about this, uh, uh, reality or something, that's just that's a different type of claim than saying something is logically contradictory. You're just asserting a claim again, but you still haven't shown that these two propositions are in contradiction. So, okay, I think when you I say understand. it's okay. Go for okay, it. Go for it. So the second proposition, X is a human. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. X is okay. X is H. X is H. First proposition, okay. X. X is uh, X does not appear to be H. So, if, if the first proposition, if we say X equals, um, does not look like a human, then does not look like a human equals H. To contradict that, I'd say does not look like a human does not equal H. Does not look like a human equals H? Does where, not wait, look wait, like where a does human that come from? Does the not equal H. That's a contradicts the second, second proposition, proposition, so the argument is invalid. Wait, where is the contradiction? Look, the contradiction the con would be if I said x equals h, and I defined x as does not does look, not like, look a human, like a human. Then the well, why? Wait, 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 wait. X. x let me just make sure. I'm sure. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. The x. Sorry, equals I just, I can't, I can't, and I'm just. It's, it's so annoying. Okay, what does he think the argument is? Okay, I think the argument is proposition one. X. X. Oh, we're back on no, the no, argument no, no, again. No, 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 no. Just, 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 like just the structure. Just tell me the form, because you keep talking about validity. Yeah. Okay. So the first. Well, it's he. He's not offering an argument. He's right. offering. Oh, okay. Then why are we talking about, we talking about, about right. going to this, formulate it's just, into it's just, an argument? Just because it's just been triggering me because he keeps saying.
things like the arguments invalid and it's like you realize there's people who actually care about logic who are listening to you talk who every time you say that they're like wait this guy's just completely bullshitting no argument has been deployed he's okay. just saying things aren't right. valid it's when not right. invalid it would be unsound because there's not what, what <laughs> argument <laughs> there's not an argument <laughs> it needs to be an <laughs> argument to have <laughs> properties like validity like, or soundness okay, but what happened is when I did offer. Oh God, dude! Sorry, Avi. I just I had to. I'll leave. No, it's okay. It's fine. Look, 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 look. So just, just so you know, okay, you're gonna trigger the shit out of Isaac when you just say things that you don't understand. So try not. I understood exactly. If you would allow me to elaborate. So what happened? You're not gonna want to prove one of the propositions false. Is that you formulated the two propositions into an argument? Argument. No, so, no, I, I didn't. Well, 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 what was the argument? argument would not be valid. What was the argument that I that I formed? Oh, you did no, not you formulate not. an argument. argument but Great. Then why are we it. talking? No, no. There was no argument, explicit or implicit. I just said because when you said it's, it's logically, logically possible, possible. Okay. he's also contradicted it's, himself. Sorry, I swear last how did time. I contradict but, myself? You, how many times did you say there was an argument and there wasn't an argument? You contradicted yourself repeatedly. Okay. <laughs> That's not, that's like super dense. I didn't mean that he said an argument. I mean, he implied one. And what is that <laughs> argument? <laughs> the argument would be that Just X. Just the form. Okay. P, X, uh, being, e or no, X equals being that does not look like a human. P2. Wait, what, what be, logic is this in? What? What, what logic? logic are you using? Just P1, P2, conclusion. What logic is that? Just a simple syllogism. Yeah, what Just logic are you syllogism. using? I'm asking what formal system you're using. It's a propositional logic. Look, propositional are, you logic? are you using modal logic? Are you using syllogistic logic? Are you using paraconsistent logic? Are you using propositional logic? I know very basic logic. It's a syllogism. Yeah, what, what, P1, P2 equals C. Wait, stop. What is the formal system? I don't know syllogistic logic. Is that what that that's what he said? So I don't okay. Know. So the form, if it's syllogistic logic, it's all A or B, all B or C. Therefore, all A or C. They all got to be in that okay. kind of form. <laughs> I'm using a simple two premise structure to conclusion. It's... Right, but if it's if it's a formally valid argument, it's in some formal system, and you should be able to give the form. See, this is what happens when people this... bullshit knowing about logic. I didn't. I never said that I knew what logic was. I know what a fucking syllogism is. Well, you seem to think you know what a valid argument is. Yeah, a valid argument is something is an argument which flows from its premises. Yeah, it's an yeah, argument it's a... where the conclusion follows necessarily from the premises, but validity actually means something inside a formal system, right? So, for example, in propositional logic, an argument's valid if its truth table doesn't contain a row where the premises can be true and the conclusion false. So I'm asking you, I don't what's know the what form of the argument? Is, okay. So what, what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the actual answer. Okay. Instead of you just like making a fool of yourself, what you want to say is I'm not using a formal system. This is a natural language argument and it's invalid by definition. So here's, here's the clinch that you're in. Okay. Specify the formal system or admit that it's invalid by definition because it's a natural language argument. And I will actually step out at that because I could keep going. How, get how is a natural system? Please, please uh, hold him to language that argument invalid. All right, I wanted to. Just, I really wanted to know what the contradiction was, but we can we can hold. Well, no, then oh, do that. Okay. I don't care, sir. Okay. 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 Proposition one: Being X look does not look like a human. Proposition two. Being X is a human. Derive P and not P from those two propositions, please. Um, I'm going to redefine it just a little bit. No, so you're not going to redefine the... No, not this is literally like, just like a, a brain thing. I can't formulate it in sentences. I need I to have an equal sign, sign there. there. So, yeah, so if you... Okay, so I'll help you. Being X... Equals no, say does X. not say look X. like a human. X. Okay, X equals doesn't look like a human. Okay. X equals human. Yeah, and the contradiction would be X does not equal human. X. The contradiction would be X doesn't... 
does not equal human. How does that? How, where is in the order contradiction? To contradict there? one of the propositions, proposition. I need to say. Yeah, X you is need. Not you need. Human? Yeah, you need to. You need to say X is not a human. So where do you get that from? Proposition one. Well, you don't. How get does prop? Yeah, yeah, you don't get, to, get it. You don't get it. So how does proposition one contradict proposition? I guess it doesn't po contradict each other. Okay, so is there a contradiction between being X doesn't look like a human, being X is a human? No, not not if we're just not, talking okay. about like validity and not. So science. is it is it pot is it wait? Oh, are you gonna trigger Isaac again? Please just stop using those words because you don't know what they mean. Look, just I know just exactly. for the sake that exactly. just so can you we can, give us just the so example we can have a of a valid informal argument. Excuse me? Nothing, I'm just memeing. Okay. <laughs> Alright, listen. Just so we can have this conversation, because look, I'll be honest with you, you actually don't know what these things, these words mean, and you're going to trigger Isaac. So, okay. just, just stop using these words, because just so when you have a better grasp on them, you can use them. Um, so look, so we established that there's no contradiction. Okay. So, is it logically possible? Not given those premises. Okay, so what do you mean? So what do you mean? Okay, so what do you mean when you say logically impossible, then? If there's no contradiction. I mean, I, I, well, I guess it wouldn't be logically impossible. Okay, so it's not logically impossible. So it's logically possible. Yeah. Okay, great. Why did that take so long? Okay, so it is logically possible. I mean, well, it is. So it is logically possible. Okay, we've gotten all this way. We've come so far and got, and tried so hard, and in the end, maybe it'll actually. So, we've established that it is possible for a human to not look like a human. Correct. Yes. Great. Now, because I'm tracking the conversation, this all stemmed off a branch from your criteria for the human spirit. So your criteria for the human spirit was appearance of a human. So now I gave you an example of what about a human that doesn't look like a human. We found out that that's logically possible. So that's your criteria for the human spirit. So now let's say we had a human that didn't look like a human. According to your criteria, which is to look like a human, you would not ascribe the human spirit to the human. And so would it be okay to take those humans and put them in a factory farm, an agricultural system, and slaughter them and eat their meat? No. Why not? Because it would be morally wrong to so, kill a human. Why, in, in, why would it be morally wrong? Like, what's the difference between the humans that don't have the criteria for you concluding they have the human spirit, on your view, and a di difference between that and animals? Uh, one has the human essence, one does not. Oh, so there's a, wait, there's a, there's two things. Okay, so now it's not just the human spirit, then, it's the human No, 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 essence. they're synonymous. They're synonymous. They're synonymous. Oh, no, but we already, but then I asked you what your criteria was for determining if a creature has the human spirit or not, and you told me the criteria like a human. Now, when we accessible for a human to not look like a human, let's say there's a human that does not look like a human. Is it, what's the difference between farming that being and farming the cow? Now, don't say that being has the human spirit or the human essence, if they're synonymous. There's got to be something else there. So, what's the answer to the question? I guess I am being inconsistent. I think so too, buddy, my dude. I gotta formulate this better. You gotta formulate this better is correct. <laughs> Let's, we can do it. Let's go back to the drawing board. There's okay. also, you know, the oh. option of reflecting on what you. Oh, that's my door. Fuck. Wait. There's also the option of reflecting on what you honestly believe and finding a new position instead of just trying to find a way to justify your old position. The position is still human essence. 
Can we open First Corinthians one? <laughs> okay. So, human essence. Now, okay. What's your criteria for determining if a being has the human essence when you're when you meet a creature? A lot of things. Okay, what are those things? It would have to be described as human by. Okay, and what's your criteria for determining if a, when you meet a creature, you meet a creature, what's your criteria for determining if this creature is described as human by God? If it's in the Bible or some sort some of a sort of canonized... So just, to be, so just to be clear, so, so, so when you meet a creature, each creature has to be... Are you saying that each creature has to be described in the Bible as human? In order for you to consider it to have the human essence? Yeah, but I don't know if I could get that. That's like, a lot of specific. that's a lot of text, my dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um I, th- I mean you must I have had like have you must have to, like pages and pages creature and pages. Forms. Oh, general creature forms. Okay, so what's the what's the criteria? So so what's the general creature form? So when you meet a creature. How do you determine if the creature has the human spirit or does not have the human spirit? Like I said, if it's described in the Bible. And how do you determine if, when you meet a creature, if it is described in the Bible, that it is the case that they have the human spirit or not? Whether or not it's human, man, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so by human spirit, you just mean human. No, no. That's by human, by human spirit. Okay, so by human spirit, if something has the human spirit, if it's human, is that what you're saying? Oh, you know, that is what I mean. Yes, human essence yeah. is yeah. a necessary cause for something being. So you could have just so all this time, we could have saved me a lot of time. By the way, you could have just said all this time, my criteria for determining if something has the human spirit is if it's human or not. if it's human, yeah. it has the human spirit. Yeah. Okay, and when we say human, what exactly do we mean? Uh. <laughs> The thing that is called human in the Bible. Um, they give the Bible gives characteristics for what defines a human. Yeah, it's called anthropology. Um, wait, I, what? Anthrop- <laughs> wait, wait, what? Which, which, which book in the Bible? Wait, which Bible <laughs> no, are you talking no, about? No, no, this <laughs> is an actual thing in like a. Uh, Bibliology and like theology and stuff. It's called anthropology. It's called anthropology. Wait, wait. I asked you if it's in the Bible. I didn't. A- I didn't ask yeah. you if like there are commentaries yeah. on it. Okay. So what? Can you give me? Can you? I'm just curious, actually, at this point. Can you give me verse? Can you like? Can you I cannot give, give you the... a verse, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. All right. So, look. Uh, where were we? Okay. So if it, if it's a human. So like just real quick. So. If there were aliens, if there were just non, non-humans, uh, well, actually, no, I'm going to actually stick to this because people can weasel on human. All right, look, how do you, when you're met with a creature, how do you determine if they're human or not? I don't, how is the, the answer I gave earlier not okay? Um, it's not okay because it's just, it's, it didn't answer the question. I did though. <laughs> if it's a what creature, was the answer? It's described in the Bible. Bible. All right, no, no, but then I asked you after that was how? Okay, what does the Bible describe uh, these creatures as? Like, in, in other words, is there an, a list of here's each creature in the that exists and it's described as a human, and that's what's in the Bible? In other words, you're met with I mean, a creature. It doesn't say I mean, this. How like, do you get to a conclusion? Like does it give criteria? For what makes yeah, yeah, for, for does, what yeah. okay so it, what are the not criteria? Like formalized in a list. Okay, what is it? What is it then? What are the it's, criteria? It's sort of like vague allusions to it. What are those vague allusions? Uh, many things. Uh, <laughs> uh, human body, spirit. Uh, oh, you you no 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 wait wait wait. You're using the word, the same word to define itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. You're I'm saying sure. human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that doesn't work. Well, okay. no, in, in Orthodox uh, theology, there is like three different elements of a human. 
and spirit, uh, noose and human body are, are distinct. distinct. Right. But human, again, you're using the word human as a, a criteria component of depth of defining. No, human. no, so I did like, not do that. You said the word human, human body. Didn't you just say, Oh, that? Yeah, oh I have yeah. to get more precise on that. Uh, just general, uh, you know, uh, ape body, I guess. General a okay, so, so I'm not similar to so, uh, uh, morphology, like okay. names. So something is a human according to the Bible if it has a morphology that is ape-like, human-like. Uh, you're now you're just using this way. Wait, something is a human. Homo, -like. homo. Okay, so something is, and by homo, you just the do you just mean human. Stuff. What's the what's the what's the homo body like? Can you just give me some description? What's I'm the homo gonna, body? Like I said, uh, this is pedantic. I, I don't, don't want to get into no, no. It, it's 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 you know. it's it's not because I I really think this is just going to result in you saying human again. <laughs> no, no. I I'm definitely not. I could describe you know, uh, legs and limbs in a certain a configuration. Okay, so not. legs and limbs. Okay, legs and okay, like a hominid. Con okay, so a hominid configuration. Yeah. So basically. Yeah. Uh, so upright. So you can, let's let's avoid hominid because that's just going to result in us saying something like descent, something similar to human again. Let's just okay. So upright, bipedal. Um, okay. So so we we can I can get I can appreciate what you're saying. So just to be clear, so the Bible would say that if something is upright, bipedal, has uh, arms and legs, uh, has two eyes, a nose, uh, lips, etc. Uh, then they would have, then that being would have the human spirit. Human essence. I don't the human essence. Wait, spirit. I thought they were synonymous. You just, thought, you just said they were synonymous. I know, it's just confusing because spirit is okay. used in different contexts. So, essence. Then the Bible would say they have human essence. Yeah. Okay. So, let's say those characteristics, those morphological characteristics were missing in a human. I knew you were going to do this. Okay, like if okay, someone had like one eye, eye or some or people were some disabled. People or, were disabled. Yeah, or, or whatever, whatever line you, that there is to draw based on morphological characteristics, let's say we just change the morphological characteristics such as their, their, their past whatever line or vagity such that they clearly do not, look, do not have those morphological characteristics. Oh, they I know yet they are human. here. You're going to reduce me to a, someone with a noose and a spirit to infinite holocausting them, right? Well, I think it, it would result in... I don't know about the noose and the spirit, but uh, I think it would result in the infinite holocaust. Yeah, I would have to bite the bullet then there. Or there then. Oh, okay. Okay, so just to, be, just to be clear. So if someone did not have the morphological characteristics uh, that you are describing, if they look different enough, then you would be okay farming them and slaughtering them routinely and consuming their flesh since they do not have the human essence just like, just like well no no well no no criteria, well not that yes. it's not it's not it's not yeah because they don't they don't have the because they don't have your epistemic criteria for concluding that they don't have the human essence to be yeah 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 so just to be clear so you would have no problem factory farming these humans well, they wouldn't be humans, like by definition. Well, no, oh no, no, no. Is there? Is that? What's? The, how do you know they wouldn't be humans? Because they don't have the human essence. Because they because don't they have don't. the morphology required. Okay, to wait. Is essence. there? Is it? Is it impossible for a human to not have these these morphological characteristics? No, but okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Whoops. Oh no! <laughs> Not like Not this. Like this. <laughs> You're funner than the uh, the other guy. Not like this, my dude. What happened? Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Uh, shit, man. I don't know. Oh shit! God damn it! It would be impossible. Yeah, I'll bite the bullet. Wait, it'll be impossible? What do you mean? 
are you saying it's impossible for a human to not have these given morphological characteristics? Um, it would be impossible for something to be human if it does not have those morphological characteristics. Okay, and do you mean physically impossible or logically impossible? Okay, we're going to go down this again. I, I don't think you want to. I, I think you should know where it ends by now. You've already gone, gone through it once. But if you want to go through it again, we can go through it again. <laughs> Okay, I'll go down it. I'll, I'll, I'll play along. All right. Okay. Great. So then here's the there's two propositions. Proposition one. I don't know why you want to do this again, but okay. Proposition one. I don't know. Uh, uh, human. Uh, it, being X is a, is a human. Proposition two. Actually, let's just be consistent. Keep that proposition two. Uh, be, proposition one is being X does not have. Uh, a given set of morphological characteristics. Let's just say morphological characteristics Y. Being X does not, X does not have morphological characteristics Y. Proposition two, X is a human. Derive P and not P from these two propositions. X equals human. Let me write this down real quick. So let me get this right. The first proposition is X does not have Y. X does not have morphological characteristics Y. Oh, yeah, we can say X does not have Y, where Y is morphological characteristic, morphological characteristics Y. Y could be whatever set of morphological characteristics. Uh, the second proposition could get... be X equals human. Yeah. Okay, so I need to show that these two contradict each other? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to do that without invoking like another proposition to contradict it. Right, but then you, but then you can't but then you can't show that the two prop then the two propositions can't be shown to contradict each other. So there's nothing contradictory about saying there, this being is a human, and this being does not have morphological characteristics. Uh, why? That, that At least what's in my mind that you've described. So, again, when you say it's impossible, do you mean it's physically impossible? Or do you mean it's logically impossible? Logically. Great. So, um, do you have. When you say logically impossible, do you mean that it's contradictory? That it entails a contradiction? Wait, to prove. To, so. I presume that you're going to put these two propositions into an argument and have no, human. No. No. Wait. 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 Just follow me. Follow me. No. Human I'm. I'm. Not, I. I already I followed you. I'm saying that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm... In order to, if you look, it's not an argument. There's two propositions, and the question is, do they contradict each other? Look. Let's say proposition one is P and proposition two is not P, right? There's no argument. But we can see that there's a contradiction. It's by definition what a contradiction is. You're affirming and negating a proposition at the same time. So P and not P, it's proposition one, proposition two, that entails a contradiction. These two propositions contradict each other. The contradiction would be... Um, that's does what not it, Y does not equal human. Does Okay, so being X does not have does not have y. And proposition two is being x is x equals. X. So where's the contradiction? Does not have does not have y. Does there's nothing that you're just inserting does not equal human into that. There's nothing in proposition one or proposition two that says does not have y equals not human. That's just something you're inserting into the premise. I'm saying given the premises I've given. I put on the table, do they contradict each other? Hello? I'm thinking. Oh, okay.
uh, X does not equal Y, or X does not equal does not have Y. X X does not have yeah. We can say X does not have Y, and X equals H. Premise one is X does not have Y. X equals H. That's X equals H is premise two. So where where's the contradiction? Oh, I just explained it. Um, um, so, if you were positing that y equals h, then if, if I, I said x, x no, y, no, then y no, y no, h. you already, you already did, you already, you already changed the premise. So nothing about y posits that it's not. How do I? Prove, y is just a, is like contradictory. You can re reduce it to p and not. You can reduce it to p and not p. So. If I can't you, do that you without, can, like, expanding like, what is embedded within the two premises. Okay, what do you For think is embedded? What do you, what is embedded, what is embedded between the, the premise that results in P and not P? Um, that Y equals H? Where is that in the, pre where is that? Oh, it's not in the propositions. Yeah, okay, so how, so it's not there. So, where's the contradiction? Let me expand this. I'm not sure what you're expanding, but okay. All right, I got it. So, X cannot equal Y. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. X cannot equal Y? So, B creature X, X cannot, cannot X wait. cannot equal does not have Y. X does not have Y. Okay, so X does not have Y. Yeah, that's proposition one. And then proposition two is X is H. Those contradict each other. <laughs> How? Because X cannot yeah, equal X, Y. I guess I it's guess not a... X, can, no, what, it, X, even if X could not equal Y, that wouldn't contradict anything. All the pro How do we get What proposition this? would that contradict? Give me some hints. I mean, I don't think the propositions contradict each other. I mean, my hint to you would be just to admit they don't and just stop digging your feet in the ground. <laughs> Shit. Look, dude. There, Fuck, man. There's, there's a lesson. Beat. Yeah, the, well, that's, that's respectable because there, there's a lesson that people learn kind of at some point if they, if they care about being honest and shit and they come into the debate community. And that lesson is sometimes you just got to concede. And I'm glad that you recognized you're in one of those situations. I'm going to work on this, though. Well, I mean, he's just going to take it you. back to the initial question now, though. It's still kind of, it's like if you can't answer it, it goes back to where it was before. It's okay, Isaac. Remember when I, remember when I tried to work on it? <laughs> I, remember, I, remember. I tried to work on it a few times before I went vegan. It's okay. Let him try. I'm going to do it. Oh, well, okay. I cool. mean, well, if it's not logically impossible, like, then aren't we wanting to just hear how he replies to the hypothetical? Because if it's logically possible, he should possible. be able to... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to... He knows exactly what... Oh, oh so, so is, is what he's doing, he won't answer that because he's insisting it's logically <laughs> impossible, but he doesn't know how to show it? No, he, he doesn't... He wants to try to defend that it's logically impossible because he's uncomfortable with the reductio if it is logically possible. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, why do why? Do okay, that? wait, no, why no, no, no. I understand. You can just I understand. eat some chickpeas. It's really not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay, it's not Imagine logically impossible. Imagine going through these Done. kind of mental gymnastics. Okay, but if it's not logically it's impossible, not, then let's go. Can... Let's do filming with the filming with right, the right. So or... then, so then, so then, so then, if there are humans that don't have the mo those morphological characteristics, is it okay to put them in factory farms, drag them through their own shit and piss, slaughter them at the end of even before the end of their lives, farm them, rape them, and then eat their meat? Yeah, if they don't have the morphological right. characteristics, they don't have the essence. So they don't wait, have Wait, no, the, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. So but they are even if they're system. even if yeah, even if even if they're human. Just to be clear. So even if they're yeah, human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So you're okay with just taking a whole bunch of these humans and and opening up an Auschwitz. Yeah, fuck them. Oh, okay. And um, are you okay with if, no, you don't win. I think you're you lost as much as you possibly can. I mean, you could lose. No, 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 no. I stayed no, no. consistent within my with my. Uh, wait, do you think? Do you think that? Do you think? Do you wait? Do you think staying consistent is a criteria for winning? Yeah. Surely, it's a sufficient surely. criteria. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Shut up, everyone. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up for a second. If staying consistent is a criteria for winning, I think you've contradicted yourself. Because, no, or do you think both people can win? Okay, man. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Is it okay? Fine. Is, is staying consistent necessary and, suffi and sufficient for winning? No, because I would have lost forty times by now. But now I've won but because now, I'm wait, staying consistent. No, wait, 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 wait. Just, just, dude, dude, dude. If someone stays consistent, does it entail that they've won the debate? I mean, no. Right. Oh, I mean, if, right. I, if, I, if I was that, I could just win the debate by positing A equals A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Great. Yeah, I guess yeah, that I doesn't guess. make me win. It makes my system consistent, I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Insane, insane, so batshit proven, crazy, I'm insane proven. systems. Batshit crazy, insane systems can be perfectly consistent. Hey, Look, want, want Hitler hear my, had a... Want to hear my, my moral system? Avi, ask me about my consistent moral system. system. Hey, Isaac, what's your consistent moral system? All sentient beings should be raped for as long as possible. I guess okay, you won the debate. You, I mean, uh, you're being consistent. Get factory Racked. farm? Racked. <laughs> I stayed consistent, yeah, I stayed. though, right? right? Yes, but that's yes. very meaningless yeah, when you have yes. a position like that. I mean, look. Look. The fact that you're consistent, what is that? I mean, yeah, you could look. Hitler had a consistent moral position. I don't. I mean, if Hitler were to debate on morality, I don't think anyone would say, "Oh yeah, I guess Hitler's just totally winning. He's so he's consistent." Like, consistent is a. I would view it as a necessary but not sufficient criteria for getting at something that would sound what reasonable. What would the other criteria be? Yeah, so that's a great question, um, and that's what. Philosophers have moral philosophers have struggled with for quite a, quite a long time, but they 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 have in the normative ethics they've re typically reduced to several different theories, actually several different main categories of theories, and then there are subcategories of those theories that seem reasonable. Doesn't mean they're true, but all we can say is that if you yeah, I mean we can't show that you're we can't show in any way that you're what you're saying is false it's just that if you want to have that view we can't we can't show it's false but we can just say okay like pragmatically if we want to get what we want we can just put we can just demonstrate that anyone listening to you this is the view in order to n not be vegan this is the view that you, the type of view you need to really hold is oh, so the view like that a, results like a, you're making me look extreme and then that kind you're making well well extreme like extreme extreme isn't even putting it um Extreme doesn't even do that justice. Uh, it, it's, yeah, it's yeah. And, and that phrasing is misleading. Making you look at extreme makes it sound like he's he's yeah, giving yeah, yeah, yeah. the appearance of something. all he's doing is revealing it's an honest, all he's it's doing, an honest yeah, what, yeah what he's doing is revealing what your ethics actually have to say in order to be non-vegan. And it's not that that's going to 
like he's like making an illusion that it's extreme to other people like once he shows that as your ethics that is the kind of thing they will naturally classify as extreme naturally how does that just like, just like or they or, or they would or they would there's something that they would that would be classified as extreme and all I can do is show so that it, you so won that. the debate because I look at, like I look uh, extreme. No, it's not a crit. No, look again. It's not a crit. Look again. Kind of when you say winning, kind of again, 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 like winning look. is relative. It's going to depend on whose frame it is, right? With respect to anyone who doesn't want to fucking Holocaust people, sure he smoked you. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, like maybe yeah, someone I like guess Je I Jeffrey guess Dahmer might, might watch and then think like, yeah, that made sense. Can I just ask if you're, let's say, let's say um, you woke up and you found out that your mom didn't have those morphological characteristics. Yeah, she can die. No, no, no. We have to you, go. We, you, have to, we have to go for the best one. Sorry, Avi. What if Wait, you? Can, huh? What if? <laughs> what if, what if you didn't have those morphological characteristics? Then I'd be okay with uh, people torturing me to death. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Now you're just that lying. That's insane. Lying. Wait, wait, you just hold no. on. <laughs> can I, wait, can I just ask? He's, like, he's, you... li he's lying it to maintain a feature of his position that, on his own view, <laughs> isn't even a sufficient condition for winning. Oh man, do you live with your mom? Not trying to be uh, like no. insulting, yeah, or like, no. oh, okay. Do you have her? Do you have her in like speed dial or anything? Or like, do you have her like in your contact? Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, I do. It's uh, Dude, seven. It's, uh, seven. Yes, can you um? Can you press seven and call your mom and get her on the line in this Discord and just explain to her that <laughs> no, there are given morphological characteristics, and if you don't have those morphological characteristics, it's okay to put you in a factory farm, someone to shove their fist up her anus and to put semen in her vagina to, to so that she can birth, and then and then milk her and then slaughter her. Well, uh, no, Is I'm, not okay? gonna, I'm not yeah, going to get my mom bad. on the line. Why? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's fucking weird. Well, is it well, weird in what... virtue of talking to your mom or weird in virtue of your position? Uh, the latter. Okay. So you think your position is weird? Definitely weird. What, what is the definition of cannibalism? Uh, um, eating so uh, human? So, so... Are, would you say that you're embarrassed on any level to reveal your position to your mom? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, so you're... Alright, well, at least you're embarrassed. Weird, yeah, I, for sure. Yeah, do you think there's anything problematic about your position? I mean, socially maybe, but, like, I don't think that, you know, being ostracized for having a position like makes you wrong or whatever let me just ask do, do you do you think that the um is is your, does your mom share your religion uh no she's an atheist yes oh okay do, do you have any family members who share your religion actually no i don't do you have any friends who share your religion um, I have church friends that share but sure. none of yeah like any are. anyone like you look up to or like you have a a community yeah, leader, your religious... pastor on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Can we just get like, is it a priest? Is it a pastor? Like, what? What? Is, what? Who do you have? Can I also ask one? I do question? have a pastor. Um. So um, just to be clear, uh, it would be fine to reopen Auschwitz, right? Oh, I don't know, man. They they make a lot of money from like uh, tourism, you know. Well, well, let's moral, say they didn't. Mor morally speaking. It would be a neutral act, yeah. Yeah, and putting your mom into Auschwitz, that would be... How would you evaluate that morally? It would be uh, neutral, yeah, because she doesn't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, wait, can I just... Can we get... Can we... So what is it? Did you say it was a pastor or a priest? <laughs> uh, a priest. 
Okay, can we get your priest on the line, and can you just explain to your priest that if the, you didn't have the morphological characteristics, that it would be okay to put you in a farm and then to slaughter you and then eat your flesh? No. Um, I do have a question, though. Do you guys, like, you have guys any like references have... for learning uh, logic so I could, like, actually have proficiency in this? Of, of course I do. do. Yeah, we... Yeah, well, plenty of people can help you in here. If they have the propositional logic role, they can help you. You can message. I think that's Seth who spoke up, if you want. And there's also the bot yes. in here, which can uh, give you the logic test. And you won't be able to pass that until you learn just how to do basic truth tables. Can I ask? I'll just DM you. Yeah, sure, yeah, do sure. that. That'd be great. Um, Can you tell me something? Are you like a Jay Dyer fanboy kind of guy? Because like, you're not from a Christian you're family. Not. You found No, you were talking about paradigms and shit. No, uh, I watched a couple of his videos, but I'm not like a big fan of him. What community did you come here from? Uh, I was on a, a YouTube comment on your uh, one of your videos, okay. and someone said, uh, "Let's debate veganism," and I was like, "Sure." I'll just leave on one one uh, last piece of advice. Um, when you come to a Discord server and then you start debating people. And then you, you know, you're different people have different debate levels and you don't really know what debate level everyone's at. And so if you start doing well against one person or doing or holding your own against another person, it might not, and you, you're new to the community, it might not be the most advisable to think, thing to say, who's good next to be, to step up to the plate. Who else gotta, is going to step up? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just, but, but yes, you can present that as uh, that confident, but then if someone else does step up to the plate and then this, this happens, it doesn't really, it's not something that makes you look, you know, it, it's better, it, it would probably have been better optics as if you hadn't even said that. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Whatever, man, I appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate the, uh, the, uh, the uh, lesson. All right, cool. I'm going to eat some raw tofu. That is not organic. Yeah, we we appreciate you being honest. Hot dogs. We, we appreciate you being honest about your position, not making sense logically, even if you aren't actually being honest about your position, because we all know you wouldn't be comfortable just getting stabbed in the throat. A uh, good debate, though. Yeah. All right. Uh, peace out. Thanks, guys.